You know them from NBC's The Sing-Off Voice Play, getting your Friday started on the right note. And are you ready to pig out? Barrel 31 has just the dish for you in the Casey Live kitchen. Want to wear your sunglasses at night, or at least in the dark? Shades that make you a walking light show. Kansas City Live is just extra cool right now. Now, from Studio 41 on the Country Club Plaza, this is Kansas City Live. Thank you. All your little gadgets. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Kansas City Live. I'm Joel Nichols, and look who's here. Yay! Kayla Dion. Yes, you know. you're here. I'm in for Michelle, who's right. getting some time off, which is nice. She, she deserves, deserves time off. She has to work with me every day, and she deserves <laughs> multiple days off. It is a trying time. It is trying. <laughs> and then whoever draws the short straw has to fill it. Uh, we're going to have a very good time. We have joke? a wonderful audience. Everybody yell or say something. All right, that was good. Earlier, I said you can boo or hiss if you want to, and of course, somebody did. Boo. See, that's, there he un is. Un cute. that's uncalled for. <laughs> Uh, we are going to have a lot of fun. We've got wonderful people here. Furious 7 is in uh, theaters. We're going to have a critic mm -hmm. check about that. And not just one, but seven mad scientists in the studio as well. I walked in there and I said, that is a lot of science going on. There's a lot of I science. I like science. But I can see some of our scientists right now. It's going to be know, fun. There they are. Fun, oh. fun, fun. Okay. Uh, also, you were, you were hanging out with the octonauts at Kansas City Sea Life, which you know how I feel about water animals. Water animals. I think that's so funny that you call them water animals as opposed to sea life. <laughs> uh, I went to uh, Sea Life Aquarium, which is a great place to go down at Crown Center, and I spent the morning news down there, and we had fun with the octonauts, who are a group of, uh, your kids know who the octonauts are. There's Captain Barnacle, there's Quasi, they were both there, and they've got this whole new exhibit called the Octonaut Zone, where you can help uh, learn about the sea, but also help keep it clean. It's all very interactive. And then they have have some new tenants there at Sea Life, uh, seahorses. About a week ago, they got some seahorses in. Oh, yeah. And then uh, they got up the next morning. Uh, you know, they brought them in, they put them in their tank, and the next morning when they showed up, there were baby seahorses. And the, the male is the one that right. had the babies. But they, I mean, let's be real here. There's the, ba they're the baby, you know what they call Wait. a baby seahorse? What? They call them. I don't them, know water animals. What? <laughs> I don't know water animals things. They call so. them fries. Fries? Fry. So little, uh, little they're fries? little, like they're, they're small fry. Yeah, so they're little fries. Isn't that kind of cute? You that don't even cute. like water animals. No, I. <laughs> and a fry is kind of cute. I, so anyway, the the male uh, does carry the has a pouch, and then they release the pouch, and all these babies. But they only have to be with child, fries with fries <laughs> for three weeks. Right. Come on. Three weeks for Such an order. Such a male thing to do. It's three weeks for an order of fries is what you get, <laughs> and that's what they have there. So, but. <laughs> Uh, can I say something really yes, quick? Yes, you can. I want to say something about how I keep saying I don't like water animals because I don't want people to think that I like hate water animals and that I want, I don't want them to right. be alive anymore. I, I'm all about <laughs> animals being alive, but yes. What I, is it about water animals that bothers you? Well, it starts with whales. Do we have time for this? Felicia? What is? It starts with whales, and whales have hearts the size of BMW cars. Holy First of God. all, if that doesn't scare you enough, I don't know it will. The tongue weighs the size of an elephant. And there's multiple whales all over the ocean, which scares me a little bit. And then there's octopus, or it's like their arms, like suction, you know? Well, good luck I'll to all of you being interviewed by Kaylee today, because <laughs> I think she's terrified. Well, but we have no sea animals here today, but go no, down there and see the new uh, seahorses. What's really exciting is I was a big fan of the Tanner family growing up, mm -hmm. and guess what? Back in business, it seems that Netflix is nearing a 13-episode order of the revival of the 90s sitcom. Full House. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Can, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. The continuation yeah. is expected to star Candace Cameron Burr as DJ Tanner and Andrea Barber as her BFF, Kimmy Gibbler. Loved it. Kimmy Gibbler. <laughs> uh, fellow Full House veterans John Stamos, Bob Saget, Dave Coulier expected to make guest appearances as well. Stamos will have a producer role. Uh, and this is just off the latest string of TV revivals, like Twin Peaks is coming back in one form or another, Coach, uh, The X-Files, all of them are coming back in one form or another. It's awesome. And you're excited about the Full House, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm excited about Full House. You know, we had Dave Coulier here on this show in February. There mm -hmm. he is right there. He is extraordinarily funny, and he does, uh, he does a lot of impersonations, but he's also very, very funny. We just had a wonderful time, and, and he talked a little bit about the idea of getting back together, too. I bet they would like that a little bit. Yeah. It's been long enough of a break. I think where it's not. I think so. Uh, I don't want to go back. And then a little later, we had him on for our typical four or five minutes, which was spectacular. But then later this year, in May or June sometime, there's an extended little talk with Dave oh. Coulier, and you'll learn more about where to see that coming up in the future. Oh, 
I like that tease. Yes, that was a good one. How's that? Uh, in honor of the fifth anniversary of her historic Let's Move campaign, Michelle Obama appeared on The Tonight Show last night and continued a special tradition. The First Lady joined Jimmy Fallon for part two of their Evolution of Mom Dancing. It includes classics like One Move Behind and Zuma Class and this old <laughs> thing, I Got All Talbots. The skit even included some poking fun at the president. So there they are, having a good time. That's fun to see them have fun like that. I know. I like I like watching the Fallon replays. The Fallon because replay. I never. Can oh, that's stay the up Barack later. Obama right there that they're doing. <laughs> that's very nice. That's very good. Good set. She. Oh, there's the Jimmy Fallon. She's got it, some moves. That's pretty good. That does look like a Jimmy Fallon dance. Right there. That's pretty good. She can groove with that a little bit. Well, good for her. What fun. Uh, coming up, we have a giant octopus. Oh no, we don't. Mad Science is up in about 10 minutes with a bunch of kids and a bag of wind. All right, and he's a Missouri native getting national laughs. Comedian Joe Torrey will be live on our stage. That's coming up. Here's how hep a cat I am, right? Time to raise the roof, get jiggy oh. with it, and party hardy. Was that pretty good? <laughs> no. We should go to break now. Oh, yeah, just by putting on your specs, you can do all of those things. That's in two minutes right there.